Hi, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a human being who's found himself targeted, given more gallons, attacked with uh, energy weapons and gang stalking, and on and on and on. The most profound thing I can tell you at this moment in my life, before I forget, is that when I was first attacked by these people and drugged, although I didn't know I was being drugged, and they kept telling me, we're gonna kill you, you're gonna die, we're gonna kill you, in many different ways, I stopped living and started dying. And unfortunately, my perception has been based from that fact, amplified by the fear of the realization that I truly am sick and that no doctor seems to really give a shit or be brave enough or whatever it is. And as my body and mind deteriorate, you know, I'm forced to reckon with these things. However, I believe there's hope uh, in, in something that I watched yesterday. A man was talking about how in order to defeat this overtaking of man's subconscious desires, uh, one must live from the heart, from the heart chakra, from the the center of love, basically, and that if one is capable of doing that and no longer living in one's mind, then one should have no problem uh, not being controlled by. Easier said than done, as we all know. The other thing that was spoken about, and I know this to be true, is that as our technology rapidly develops and technology that can basically transmogrify energy into matter, uh, transmute elements into other elements, this is real stuff. It exists and cannot be released into the market, obviously, because once uh, something is made from nothing, then as was said, our system of money collapses because we no longer need it. Because there's abundance the way it should have been all along. And uh, I find that a very interesting truth. And I'm curious to see how or if the human race can, can get there. Because a system without money if it's allowed to foster and flourish without other forms of slavery and control, see why mind control is such a big uh, thing on the list, then, uh, you know, mankind can flourish to be what he needs to be, what he's meant to be, what he was designed to be, what he wants to be, rather than led about by some childish impulses in a, a construct that was laid down over us in an effort to keep us from being the thing we were supposed to be, ourselves. Anyway, these are my thoughts. I'm blessed to be able to share them with you. Thank you for watching and God bless you all.